some of my favorite exercise ball exercises that you can combine to make one amazing workout. Now, core strength and stability is one of the most important things that you can have to feel healthy and fit. In fact, it is the first thing that I do when I start with a new client. All right, having core strength and stability can prevent all sorts of ailments from lower back pain to upper back and neck pain. Um, it'll just help you through your day-to-day -day activities better without you know, feeling like you might bend over, pick something up and throw out your back. And it really is the key to having a strong foundation for any sort of exercise regimen. All right, so this ball is from Urban Fit Yoga Products. I love it. It is just the perfect size to kind of hang around my house. I can sit on it when I'm working at my desk to make sure that I'm engaging my core properly. And it's easy to just take on out whenever I'm ready to work out with it. Okay, so we're gonna get started. The first exercise we're gonna do today is a wall squat with our stability ball. So, might cut off my head here, that's okay, because what we need to see is the squat. Okay, so you're gonna take your feet out, a little bit wider than hips width distance. That ball's gonna rest on your lower back, and you can just bring the hands together at your heart or behind your head. Toes should point forward, maybe out a little bit, just see what feels most comfortable for you. You're gonna take an inhale, sit back, all the way down to about 90 degrees, till that's at your knees and then exhale, stand up, squeeze your glutes, contract your abs. Keep going, you'll do 15 reps, inhale, exhale, drive through the heel, stand up and squeeze. Weights in the heels, you're leaning back against the ball, it's supporting your back, but also adding a little bit of a core challenge because you're having to turn on the core muscles to keep you from falling one way or the other. Keep it going, breathing, tight abs, feel your thighs and your glutes working. Let's do five more. There we go. Yep, you should feel that burn. Two more. Feeling the lower body, but also feeling your abs working to stabilize you. Nice, there we go. Okay, we're gonna take it down. Take the ball onto your mat and lay down. This is gonna get into our hamstring. So we just got our quads, mainly our glutes. We're gonna take the heels and the lower calves up onto the ball. Okay, reach your arms down alongside your body. You're gonna first just lift up, okay? That can be really challenging because as you can see, I'm having to use my core to keep my feet from rolling from one side to the other. So if this feels challenging, just stay here for today. All right, if you're ready to add on, keep lifting the hips up. Exhale, curl the heels in. Feel those hamstrings contract. Inhale out. Exhale in, 15. It is harder than it looks, I swear. I love this exercise. I use it with all of my clients. You'll feel your hamstrings, your glutes, your abs working. Keep the hands down or it gets a little harder. Five more. One, whew. two, three. You got it. Four. Oh yeah, booty burn, five, and a release. Whew. All right, next thing you can do is take that ball right underneath your, your calves, okay? It's gonna rest right inside of your thighs. You're gonna use your lower abs to hug the ball in towards your body and keep that engagement. And we're gonna go for some sit-ups. Now, if you can only crunch up a little bit, that's okay. Just see where you can go with it, and then you know where you're starting from. Breathe and reach the arms above your head. Okay, exhale, sit up, tap above your knees. Inhale back, exhale up. Maybe you come up all the way, then slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Exhale up. Good 
Go into 15, just like we've been doing. Now remember, if you can just tap here, that's great. Do what you can. You want to feel your abs contracting. Okay, your lower abs are keeping that ball in close to your body. Five more. Slow on the way down, no matter how high up you go. Three. Two. You got it. Last one. Up. Slowly lower down. Ah, take a little stretch through your fingertips and your toes. Inhale and exhale. All right. Hug your knees into your chest. You're going to roll on up to a seat. Okay, then we're gonna take it into a back extension. So getting the other side of our core. Okay, you're gonna take that ball underneath your belly. Okay, your feet are gonna be up against a wall. Okay, so you wanna make sure you're able to round around the ball, but you're not falling forward and your feet can stay down. Hands behind your head. Okay, inhale. Exhale up, contracting your lower back. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful, stay with it for 15. If your lower back feels like it's gonna give out, just stop, okay? Do as many as you can. Glutes are relaxed so that the lower back is doing most of the work. Four more. Keep the elbows wide. Three. Two. Your lower back should be working. One more. And release. Ooh. All right, now something to remember with that one is your lower back should feel that muscle burn. A lot of us get a little scared sometimes when we feel anything in the lower back, but it's so important to strengthen it. So if it feels like that nice muscle burn, stay with it. If you feel like it's straining, that's when you know it's time to stop. All right, so next we're gonna take it into our ball plank. All right, you're gonna slide the ball forward. Forearms are gonna come on the ball and you can clasp your hands together, okay? So you're gonna start feet hips width distance apart, lift the hips up, okay? Push your arms into the ball and get strong, okay? Abs in, inhale, exhale. Now, if you feel kind of wobbly here, stay. If you wanna add on, we're gonna add on a jackknife. So inhale, slide the arms forward, exhale back. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Two, last one, hold. Okay, you can keep doing those. You can hold it anywhere from 20 seconds to a minute. When you're ready, you'll release the knees down. Whew. All right, so as you can see, the ball makes it kind of wobbly, really challenging your core, getting into the transverse abdominis, the obliques. Even our lower back is doing a little bit of work there. But if you feel your lower back start to strain, always make sure to stop. You really wanna make sure you're protecting it. Okay, two more exercises. We're gonna start coming back to lay on our back. We're gonna do leg raises. Okay, so you're gonna take the ball between your feet. Hands down alongside your body. You're gonna squeeze that ball with your feet. You're gonna feel your adductor muscles turn on. So we're not only working the abs, but we're working the inner thighs. Hands down. Okay, you can kind of sit on your thumbs if you need to. Inhale, lower the ball. Exhale, lift up. Lift your shoulders a little bit. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Okay, you want to make sure you don't feel your lower back. So just go as low as you can while just feeling those lower abs. And then you can keep doing this for 10 more. 
or add on. Take the ball into your hands. You're gonna pass it to your hands. Lower your hands and your feet. Exhale up, switch. Inhale back. Exhale up. Inhale. Five more. One. Two. There we go. Three. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Woo, release the ball down. We have one more exercise, you guys. We're gonna do a ball high plank with our feet on the ball, and then I'll give you the option to add on from there. All right, so you're gonna take the ball underneath your shin. So I like to come to my hands and knees, place one foot up, get my shoulders right over my wrist, and then pick the other foot up, okay? Press the ground away, get really strong. And if you feel wobbly, stay. You're gonna hold it for 20 seconds to 45 seconds. If you wanna add on, tuck your knees into your chest. Exhale, lift your hips a little bit. Inhale back. Exhale, go for 15. Again, if you feel your back strain, just stop. Five more. Last two. And one. Straighten the legs, take one knee down, and then the other. Ooh, and that's it. Great job, you guys. So those are my seven favorite stability ball exercises. Combine them together to make that pretty challenging but short workout. You can always double the workout or triple it if you want a longer one. Great job, you guys. Make sure to check out Urban Fit Yoga's products. They are such good quality for such a good price. You can see my blog at my website, kellycollinswellness.com or find me on Instagram at kellycollinswellness. Make sure to click subscribe if you want to be notified when I post a new video each week. All right, I hope to see you soon. Have a good day.